In this video, I will implement add article functionality and I will add validation. So let's begin. In article service, we will create one method add update article. This method will send API request to server. I will create a copy of this function delete article. Rename this method add update article. This function will take following parameters article ID, title, body, and publish status. We will pass this parameter in a request body. So, first we have to initialize body object. In API project, in add update binding model, we have to send this information in a request body. In a body object, I will add properties with this name. I will copy this property name and paste in a body object. Now I will initialize these properties with parameters. I will add two more parameters publish and app user ID. User ID. Add comma here. This function is completed. Now we will call this function from model component. In a model component, first we have to inject article service. In a confirm function, we will call service method this dot article service dot add update article. In this function, we will pass article title and second argument is article body we have to pass article id i will create one more property article id and its type is number and i will initialize with zero when we add article article id will be zero when we update article then we will have article id i will pass article id in a add update article function publish status false and we need a user ID and we know we can get user ID from local storage. Copy this code. This function return user information from local storage. Paste here and import constant. This dot user dot user ID. dot subscribe when we get response from server subscribe method will run I will hide the model when we get response from server so I will move these two line in subscribe function if we get success from server then I will hide this model here I will add if condition in if condition I will compare response code when we get response code ok it's mean data has saved in a database successfully so i will move these two lines in a if condition and i will add here error case when we get error then we will show our toaster now in this model component i will add spinner and toaster before send request to server we will show spinner copy this line this dot block ui dot start it will start spinner and paste here before send request to server. This line stop the spinner. Paste here when we get response and paste in error case. Now copy toaster message. This dot toaster dot success. It will show success message. We will show the success message when we get success response. Now copy toaster service and we will inject in a model component based in a constructor. You can watch my videos on toaster and block UI for more detail. Link in a description. 
copy this block UI lines paste in a model component import the modules you can change loader message saving please wait I will update the toast message article saved successfully. In error case, we will show toast message. Something went wrong. And toast type will be error toast dot error. When response code is not OK, I will add else part. And here I will show toast error message. Now we will test. We try to save an article. Give title. Apply formatting, add image, click on add button, and you can see toaster with success message. But that article did not visible on the article page. Now we will fix this issue. Go to article management page, scroll down. Here we subscribing model response subject. When we get true value from subject, we will send API request that will get article is from server. Scroll down and copy this line. We will call this function from here. And this function will send API request to server and fetch latest article from server. Now we will test. Click on add new article. Give title and body. In article body, I will use log and paste in article and we'll apply formatting. Click on add button. Something went wrong. We didn't add title. Click on add button and you can see success message. And we can see we can see article on our article page. Now we will apply validation. Whenever form is invalid, we will disable the add button. So we will use disable attribute. Copy form name form dot invalid. So whenever form is invalid, this button will disable. And you can see add button is disabled. On these two controls, we have required validation. So when we add data in these two fields, form will get valid and add button will enable. We can show the error. For example, when user don't enter title, we will show message title is required here I will create a function that will take control name and it will return control from form group control name return this dot add update form dot intelligence is not working this is because we didn't define type now we will give type to add update form and type is form group now we will get intelligence press dot dot controls and we will pass parameter it will return controls from form group here we will use that method after the input control i will add div on this div i will add ng if here i will call that method get control and i will pass control name control name is title dot invalid when angular form created first time on a screen and its control default status is invalid so we will not show error message when we show form first time to user when user interact with this control we will show the error that's why we will check two more condition first one is dirty dirty get true when user enter anything and delete that thing 
so control become dirty and second condition we will check user touch when user touch the control touch property get true in this div i will add one more div that will have class text danger on this div i will add ng if on this div i will check the adder type i will call that function get control dot error dot required if error type is required then i will show the message title is required and you can show multiple error message like max length min length now we will test click on add new article touch the title control and you will see title is required error when you type anything in this control this error will fix you can add multiple controls validation on a control and you can show their messages thank you for watching